What would you do if you or someone you cared deeply about had an aggressive cancer and you heard about a medicine that has shown potential to actually kill the cancer cells? Would you try to obtain this medicine at any cost? What if the drug were illegal in some places and not in others? Would you move? Would you obtain it illegally? My name's Pam Schunk. Um, I'm 57 years old. I am a daughter of two elderly parents, and I have two beautiful daughters and five wonderful grandchildren. January of 2012, I was diagnosed with stage 3 ovarian cancer. Last year, Pam was diagnosed with breast cancer. Both the ovarian and breast cancers have reoccurred. Pam has withstood multiple surgeries, many rounds of aggressive chemotherapy, and radiation. Chemotherapy has a ton of side effects, some of which I have. Marijuana is a plant scientists call cannabis. It's a botanical, or plant, used for medicinal purposes. Growing medical marijuana is a high-tech indoor farming operation. Different hybrid plants are grown and harvested at different times within their life cycle to develop plants that target specific medical treatments. These medicines, which use the flower tops and leaves, are delivered in different ways. Well, there's a number of ways to use the drug. Um, certainly with children, you know, you, you get this image of, you know, children smoking joints or something like that. That's not the case. In most, most cases, uh, the children uh, are given the, the oil extract from the plant, and that is either put in their food or something like that. And that's how they get the, uh, the um, medicinal marijuana into, the, into their system. Um, there's vaporizers and other things that are also, uh, you can make it into a food form and make it edible. So there are other ways other than smoking to ingest the uh, marijuana, but some people can't do that. Some people are having, have difficulties swallowing and eating, and there's just, it's just not possible for them to take it that way. So there's no reason really to limit the ways that the person can take the drug. There's no long time side effects from it long term. Um, there are no cases of anyone ever dying from marijuana. The use of medical marijuana is a compassionate uh, idea. Uh, people really need it. Uh, we've, I've heard from uh, people throughout uh, the di my district and throughout the state. We've heard testimony from families uh, whose uh, children are affected by seizures who could benefit from medical marijuana. So there are a number of uses uh, for it that will definitely benefit people who are very, very sick. And we want to make sure that those opportunities are there for them to use a drug uh, that can, uh, can actually help them and ease their suffering. I want medical marijuana to be legal now. We can't wait. Um, there's a lot of people in my situation right now. We allow different types of drugs that are much more intense, like opiates, hydrocodone, oxycontin, things like that, that are much more powerful. Um, and the medical marijuana would actually be more restricted and more um, regulated than some of those other uh, drugs that are already available to people. Compassionate Care Act's been around for uh, a number of years. Uh, the original bill uh, in the assembly was very loosely regulated. Uh, you could grow your own med medical marijuana. Uh, it was much more like a Calif the California law, uh, which is not very tightly regulated at all. Uh, it was recently amended last year uh, to really constrict the controls over the marijuana itself. Uh, and they call it from seed to sale that it would be regulated. Uh, it was a very strict guidelines as far as growing it and dispensing it and who would be able to use it. So uh, with those changes, I supported it. So please contact your senator and encourage them very strongly to move quickly on this bill so that people like me and other people you know who it might be a life or death issue for 
have the opportunity to at least try medical marijuana. You've got to reach out, be engaged, talk to your state uh, elected officials and, and try to uh, get some pressure put on to get that at least out onto the floor for a vote.